What's up? It's your boy, head coach Ross, the street warrior. In Jiuhu Kipura. In Jiuhu, like I tell you guys, in Swahili, it means the way of freedom. You need to memorize this because I'm not going to be breaking it down every video. All right? Kipura, as you know, is the authentic fighting system from Africa, specifically the country of, of Congo and all of its cognates. It's so like Mozambique, Angola, Angola, etc., so on and so forth. Actually, the Angola is not really Angola. It's really the kingdom of Ndongo. You need to go to my website and check out the real history on that. And you need to check out my videos breaking down the actual history of that. All right? So, we just took that fighting system. We modernized it to the, to the here and now. All right? Helping me out is my friend. James. There you go. Not Brown. Not James. He's Brown, but not James Brown. All right? But you do, you do have soul. You realize it. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do here, I'm, this is a response to a question we were asked here. Uh, specifically, there was a technique that I used earlier today in the kickboxing gym and also on my Instagram. Uh, the technique is actually extracted from the dances of Oshu and the Orisha. A lot of people don't know there's a lot of fighting techniques in it, all right? In fact, many of the fighting techniques that we have are hidden in the dances, not really hidden, but uh, we'll get to that story later, all right? The idea was this. You're dealing with an, uh, with an attack, okay? And then you step off, you pin check, Step off, stand in front of the attack, hit here, step back in here, boom, circle, boom, boom, double fist, and then you get a kick off. All right? So, from a distance, it looks like, oh, he's just kind of doing whatever he's doing. Get a little closer. And the first movement is you defend yourself. Then they grab, all right? You wind up here pinning, all right, and checking. You wind up going here, like that. The second move from here, right, becomes this, a hook. Like that. From the, from the hook, you're now setting up the following punch. So it's here, boom. Oh, wait a minute, not so slow, huh? Okay, I'm gonna break it down for you scientifically here. Okay? What's happening here is you're facing an opponent. He's scrapping. You're putting your footwork on it, making him move, all right? He's trying to hit you, and maybe at some point, this is live, at some point he's gonna, he's gonna try to grab you. Right, I'm making, not making it easy, making him work for it. He's trying to grab me, lock it, he got the grab. He's got the grab, you see that? Real live grab. Now he's too big for me to just you know, like just overpower. So what I do here is I step out to the right, I check his, check his shoulder here, boom, force him to go to where I want him to go. That's the first movement. The first move from here, then you shift out, that's the back fist right here, bang. All right? From the back fist now, you're gonna wanna, let me turn this way so you can see what's happening. First movement here is checking his shoulder. So I'm gonna steal this arm before I do the back fist. So I go here, pull his arm down, that's what sets him to the back fist, bang, like that. All right? And what's happening, watch my feet, is, Boom foot up, right here, back fist bing. If this hand comes, trapping here. Let me turn this way so you can see. This hand comes in, watch my rear foot. From here, I'm now stepping into the target. Boom, this forces him back. Sets his head where, right where the hook is. Whack, where the hook. Now when I'm throwing the hook, I'm not throwing it any, any over. Let me turn it this way. I'm actually gonna punch him in the neck, all right? And I'm setting his head where I want him to be, and I throw a hook right into the carotid of the neck. Snapping the hook back into me, driving up with both feet. As I go in here, snapping up in me, see how it breaks the grip down? That's why you spin leading with your elbow. I don't want to go here so close enough so you guys can see. Here, boom, right here. That's why you spin leading with your elbow. You see what I'm doing? Hands here. When I get through here, boom, right here, like this. Elbow comes out, boom, hands are free. Spin leading with the elbow, bing. It's not fun. All right. Next hand comes right behind it, bang. So you go in here, stay there, bang, bang, and then right, boom, with a kick. As you can see, I'm pulling back so I don't hit him. But I want you to see it's highly, highly applicable. All right? Talk to him, Jay. Is this, is this real what? Oh, yeah, yeah. He has the range of motion with power behind it. Uh, it's uh, the stance that he's using is uh, really giving him the grounding he needs to do the maneuver and keep his balance. It's not just a, a strength move, but rather a grace move. So um, really understanding where your opponent's center of gravity is, where you are, and how you position your feet is key. Uh, and he does so very fluidly. It makes it look easy. <laughs> thank you, thank you, my brother. Very well said, very well said. Now this is our first time working together, right? Indeed. I, I, had, this is my, I had the pleasure of meeting him maybe about 30 minutes ago. You know, right? So this is about as real as it gets, all right? If you want to see it in action, check the vi my video out. I actually do it live in the kickboxing gym, all right? I want you, it's very important. I want you to go to my website, Attack Jim Capoeira at googlesites.com. Support us, buy some of the products we have there. All right, I want you to subscribe to my channel. All right, I want you to hit the likes on the video and drop a comment on there. If you like what you see, 
say so. If you want to, you want to see me do something particular, hey, head coach Ross, do what to what? And it's, I'll do that for you. If it's like, hey, coach Ross, you suck something, let me know. Okay? We'll take it from there, all right? I appreciate you. You take care of yourself. Asante sana. Ashe. Amani.